in this video, what we're going to look at is inserting your YouTube link into your slides presentation. So what we have right here is an empty slides presentation. And what I would tell you first, and it's just kind of a pet peeve of mine, is to get rid of these um, text box text boxes that are already here. I know a lot of students say, but once you see the slides, they're not there. But as you're designing, they are going to be in the way and it just kind of clutters up your design. So if you take your mouse and get to where you have those four arrows and just click on the outside of the box, you'll have it highlight and that's what's called the bounding box when you have all those little squares. And if you just hit backspace, those will go away. Um, you can add text box back in later, but just take those away so that they're out of the way. And then to put something into your slideshow, you're going to go to insert, whether or not it's a picture or whatever. Um, we're doing video, so we're going to go to insert and video. Now it automatically comes up with YouTube. So what we need is the URL for our YouTube video. So what we're going to do is go up to the new tab and open up YouTube. Now I'm on my computer, not a Chromebook. Yours will be down here on your shelf, down in this area, but the icon will look the same. Mine's right here. So I'm gonna click on that and it will come to your YouTube dashboard. Um, if it does not come automatically right here, this is what I have saved. So if it does not automatically come to all of your videos, what you are going to do is come over here to your um, account and click on Creator Studio. Once you're here, you will see all of your videos listed and you're just going to choose the one that you want initially. You can either click on the thumbnail or click edit. I'll show you what both of them do. If we click on the thumbnail, it's just going to bring up the video. So here is my video. So I'm going to click on the URL right up here. So just click once and it'll highlight and I'm going to copy that. The other way to get it is if we are back here, you can click on edit and this will bring up an area where you can edit your video. You can change what you want your thumbnail to be. You can change what the name of the video is um, and some other things. But here is your video URL right here. So here you can click and you can copy right there. So we have the URL. We're going to go back to the presentation and you're just going to paste that and hit the search or enter and it will automatically bring up your video. Click on that and hit select and your video is in your slide. Now this is the only thing that we can't just replace once you have your first slide done. So if you have an image, so if we do insert image and we'll just go get a random picture So if I had this picture, if I just wanted to um, change it, I can right click on it and replace image and just go back into my drive and get a new picture. On your YouTube videos, you can't do that. You will have to insert a brand new video for each of your slides. So that's how you insert your YouTube video. Um, just some other things, if your picture is too big and you want to crop some of it off, you just double click on it really quick. And these are your crop tools right here on the side. So you can bring this over and it will crop here. You can come from the side and it will crop. The um, faded area is the area that it's going to crop. If you hit enter, that is what it has cut off. You can always hit undo. Um, and move it around. So that is how you can resize your image. Um, if you need to put your own text box in, here is a text box. You just click 
and drag. So that's for your text box. Um, so there are, I know we, I said that it was going to be about your YouTube video, but there's just kind of some highlights to get you started. Um, somebody else asked me about putting in a shape. So remember I said anytime you want to put anything in, you go to insert. You go insert shapes for whatever shapes you want. And if you just want a square, you put your square, you click and you drag. And then to change colors, you can go to the fill. And this is my theme right here. So there's my color. It's on top of your video. So what you do is you right click and you go to order and send to back. So that's how you get it all the way to the back. Remember your um, slides don't have to look just like mine. So you put um, whatever on your slides you want um, to make it look pretty, look neat. Um, just have the required information. As far as the links to get to your different slides, at first, those are just going to be text boxes. So you're just going to come down here and just type in the names of the places. So there I have Tahiti. I'm going to control and paste. Oops. I didn't copy it. on the corner. Did I get it this time? There we go. So at first you're just going to type the names out here and then you're not going to worry about linking them until we have all of our slides. So the links that you have to have at first are just words. Um, so we ended up going over how to insert your um, we videos, how to insert and replace pictures, how to insert a shape if you want one, and how to insert your links. So that ended up being a lot more than um, I initially meant or thought we would do, but um, that gets you um, through your information slides. So um, go ahead and make your first inf information slide, and then you will be ready to copy it and um, duplicate it and change the information for your next one.